Tis the season for inspiration. George Street Playhouse is debuting a new musical about the life of entrepreneur and inventor Joy Mangano. Yes, the inventor of the Miracle Mop, the best-selling self-ringing mop from the 90s. She launched a mammoth cleaning product empire on QVC and Home Shopping Network, became an inspiration to women across the country, was portrayed by Jennifer Lawrence on film, and now is the basis for an uplifting musical. We're here at rehearsal in New York City to find out more about this new show. Who is Joy? Joy is a single mom from Long Island who goes on to invent the Miracle Mop and then creates and builds an entire empire of her own inventions. And she's a real life person. She is a real life person, yes. What is it about her life that says, we're gonna turn this into a musical? She is a woman who was in ordinary circumstances and then took a step towards something extraordinary and took a risk and went out on a limb with this creation and invention and her whole life changed from that moment forward. It's so impressive that that tiny little spark of an idea that she gave, breathed life into it all the way until its fruition when she was standing there selling it on the QVC stage. What is it about her story that spoke to you? Why did you want to direct it? I happen to be from Long Island, um, as Joy is, a mother, as is Joy, of three children. And what's universal about what Joy has to say is that she's a woman who believed in her dreams and had the courage to act on them. She really cares that the things she invents help other people, and she never lost track of who she was in the process, even though she was walking into this crazy, difficult business world where there were so many people telling her what to do and what not to do. You're playing Joy. The character's name is the title of the show. I imagine that's a lot to shoulder. What is that like? In terms of the pressure of playing a living, breathing person who's alive, really all I want to do is give solid, voice and honesty to the thing about Joy that I like, which is her in integrity and her core being. Have you spoken to Joy? Did she give you any insight or give you any tips? Yes. Joy herself has been super supportive of the process, but also kind of a hands-off approach. I think she trusts that the theater makers in the room are going to pay homage to her story and then also theatricalize it so that the viewers enjoy it. This is a musical. Joy's story mostly takes place in the 90s. What does the music sound like? Anne-Marie Malazzo wrote the music for this, and I think what she does so well is she gives everybody a sound. So as opposed to the 90s defining the music, the characters define the music. Twist, unlock it, easy to clock it, dip, pump, and break, bye, bye, bending, look what Are we gonna I expect need? really high energy numbers? Erica Henningsen is playing Joy. Are we gonna see some really great belting moments? The cast overall is just amazing, and we're having the greatest time in the room developing this show. But what's so special about Erica is that she has this inherent goodness about her that she brings to the role, and it just makes you root for Joy every step of the way. And I think what both Erica and I and many people relate to about Joy is that she has that grit and that tenacity where she can hear no a million times before she gets to a yes. This is a female empowerment story, and it's being told mostly by women creatives, with you as the director, and Marie Malazzo as the composer-lyricist. What importance is that bringing to the story? I think it means the world to us to represent that story truthfully. The lived experience of what it means sometimes to be a woman in male-dominated businesses. For me, the lived experience of being a working mother and a creative artist, we take it so seriously and we share this fiery passion like Joy's for telling the truth and representing a recognizable reality of what that is. It's about how did this one singular woman overcome circumstantial obstacles over and over and over again. And there is something that whether it's the lived experience of a female, whether it's even just the feeling in the room. It makes everybody on board feel like this is in the right hands. What kind of night am I in for when I come to see this show? You're in for a fantastic night of theater. It's my hope that the show will be incredibly entertaining and full of heart, but also inspiring. Anybody who has ever felt that spark of, of an idea or a change in their life, they'll see themselves on that stage. 
And then if you need that push, I think the show will inspire you to go try the thing you've been putting on hold for a long time. Thank you to George Street Playhouse and the Joy team for having us. You can see Joy from December 7th to December 30th at the New Brunswick Performing Arts Center. You can go to georgestreetplayhouse.org for more info. I'm Jesse North. Thanks for watching.